Well, let's sew these beautiful basted patches together, shall we? So you've got some EPP patches. We're going to put them together along this edge right here. You've got scissors, sewing needle, thread. Now I'm using a highly contrasting thread because I want you to clearly see what I'm doing, but in the real world, I'd recommend using a thread that blends well with your fabrics. Here are a couple of good ways to make a tight knot in your thread. So I've threaded a needle, single thickness of thread, and I'm going to tie a wrapped knot at the end to show you. You begin that by wrapping the thread around your index finger, and then you kind of roll that thread off your finger, and that makes a little twisty loop like you see there. Keep that anchored against your thumb, but take a second finger on the same hand, and then pull that knot down to the end of the thread, and that gives you a nice little knot. The other knot's called a quilter's knot, and so you thread your needle and then you hold the end of the thread and the threaded needle so they're pointing at each other. Then you hold the needle alongside the thread and you wrap the thread about five times around the needle. Just hold the wraps and the needle together with one hand and pull the needle through them with the other, and that leaves a little knot there. If we know we want to sew our two patches together along this edge here, just line them up side by side and then flip one over the other so they're right sides together. And put the edge that you want to sew facing you. Take a second to make sure that the ends of those patches line up precisely. Now the stitch that I like to use in EPP is called a whip stitch. You begin by putting your needle through a tiny bit of fabric on the edge of each patch. As you can see, it's really just a, a few threads at the edge of each patch. And then you put your needle through in the same direction, close to where you put it through the first time. Again, just taking tiny bits of fabric. And then you just keep doing the same thing. The needle always goes through in the same direction. You're always taking tiny bits of fabric, and you try to keep your stitches maybe a sixteenth of an inch apart. Always feel around for the place where you don't feel any resistance from the templates. That's how you know you're stitching close enough to the edge. It, nobody's going to die if you stitch through the templates. It just makes them a little harder to pull out later. So you just keep going in this manner. Stitches close together, little bits of fabric, always passing your needle through in the same direction. And that'll start to resolve itself very quickly into this nice whip stitched seam. It takes very little practice to get comfortable doing whip stitch. I always recommend a single strand of thread for this because double thread can tangle. But this is all there is to it. Now to end a seam, you get down to your last stitch and you pull it through but leaving just a little loop of thread. And then you put your needle through that loop once, and then you put it through a second time. Very important to do a second time. When you pull that tight, you've got a wonderful tight little knot that is not going anywhere. I usually like to take just one last extra stitch through the edges of my patches just to bury the end of the knot, and then go ahead and cut the thread very close to the knot, and you're all set. And if I open this up, you can see that even using contrasting thread, the stitches are not that visible from the front. In fact, if this was coordinating thread, you couldn't see it at all. And that is how to stitch EPP.